What's up, YouTube? Eddie Scott back with another video. As y'all see by the title of today's video, how to market your clothing brand for free. For those of you who are new, my name is Eddie Scott, co-founded the Say Less Lifestyle Clothing brand in March 2020 with the intent to motivate and inspire a generation to do more and say less. Work in silence, let your results to the talking, right? But that's not why you're here. I say that to say everything that I've learned and growing my clothing brand to become a six-figure business with over half a million followers on TikTok, 80K on Instagram, all that good stuff, right? I'm here to teach you everything that we learned in the process. So when it comes to marketing your brand for free, right? I'm sitting here driving out of Chicago. I was just in Chicago for the day and seeing all the billboards, all the advertising, all the whatever crazy stuff that's in Chicago, all the businesses. Marketing is everywhere. Everything is marketing. Everything is marketing. Everything is a business. And so when it comes to your clothing brand, there are so many different ways that you can get your brand, your brand message, your products out there. A lot of people think you just have to run ads. Like paying for ads is the only way to get people to know about your brand. No, so many different ways to market your clothing brand as you should be doing first organically before you start paying money for ads. So without any further ado, let's get right into it. First part of the strategy I got for you guys to market your clothing brand for free is social media. Now I'm gonna get this one out the way because I talk a lot about social media in a lot of my other videos and it seems pretty self-explanatory. But when it comes to promoting and marketing your brand for free, simple things, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, Big three right there when it comes to growing your brand. Make sure you master Instagram content, TikTok content, YouTube content. They're all different, right? The content that may blow up on Instagram is different than the content that's gonna blow up on TikTok, right? Instagram and TikTok are short form content platforms, whereas a platform like YouTube is a long form content platform, right? Know how to make content for all three of those. Learn, watch some of my other videos, watch other YouTube videos, read books, really just master content creation. When it comes to organic outreach for your clothing brand, all it takes is one post to change your life. If it's a TikTok, all it takes is one video to change your life. If it's an Instagram post, Instagram carousel, all it takes is one post to pick up some traction that can change your life, change the trajectory of your clothing brand. Make sure you're posting an immense amount of content, I-M-M-E-N-S-E, -M -M -E -E, immense amount of content, a lot of content, and make sure that content is high quality. And quality isn't just the picture quality, the camera quality, but quality is what level of value are you providing in your post, right? Yes, it's cool to just take a picture or a video of somebody wearing your shirt, but what's the story, the message, the meaning behind your brand? Those are all things that you should be promoting in your content. I talk a lot about in my other videos, promotion content and value content, right? You need both on social media to be successful in promoting your brand. An example of promotion content is, like I said, taking a picture of your hoodie, taking a video of somebody rocking your shirt. Value content is really pushing, why should somebody buy your brand? Not just for the shirt or the clothing, but the message and meaning behind it. So like for Sailor's Lifestyle, our, our value content, excuse me, would be a motivational quote or a motivational video on TikTok we have 500,000 followers on TikTok that came almost exclusively by posting value content, recording videos of ourselves, motivating people to do more and say less, putting our brand message out there. And that led to orders and fans and traffic and revenue. So next thing I wanna talk about, getting out in the streets. Yes, online is great. Yes, we have the advantage with the internet and social media nowadays, but there's something important about not neglecting the in-person experience. It's just a different experience that people can have with your brand when they interact with you as the brand owner, right? So get out in the streets, whether it's a pop-up shop, even something which is like having a pop-up shop every day, essentially. We had a kiosk. We had a kiosk in our local mall. I also have a video on my channel. You look up how to get a kiosk for your clothing brand, right? Great experience. We were able to get a bunch of eyes on the brand and we were able to acquire customers right even if somebody didn't buy they were still a customer because we would say hey sign up for our text list sign up for our email list we'll give you a free wristband if you sign up for our text list right and over a span of time you got hundreds of people coming to your kiosk every day you're going to have a good solid customer database that now you can send emails and texts to 
to promote your brand for cheaper costs than regular advertising. So pop and shops, kiosks, and then even like I said earlier, hit up people in your phone book, right? If you really are about your brand, you will do what it takes. Another thing when it comes to getting in the streets, when I say get in the streets, all I mean by that is that in-person connection, right? When it comes to getting in the streets, business cards and wristbands. Business cards and wristbands. When you have a business card that has your brand logo, your brand message and meaning on it, your website, social media is on it, and then you have a wristband. And I'm just giving you an example of a wristband as saying, give something away for free along with the business card. So it could be a keychain, a wristband. If you even want to, you could do free shirts even, but just give stuff away for free to people who, if they're not ready to buy, give them something to remember you. There's something in psychology called the law of reciprocity. I'm really blessing y'all right now. The law of reciprocity, which states that when you give something away for free, people feel indebted to return the favor in some form. So when it comes to business, if you, that's why restaurants, they give you free samples because subconsciously, whether you're consciously thinking you're or not, your brain subconsciously, if somebody gives you something for free, subconsciously your mind is thinking i have to return a favor to this person in some way which in business nine times out of ten is you're going to end up making a purchase so when it comes to your clothing brand a lot of clothing brands don't do this have a business card with your information on it and some sort of small free item it's important to play the long game with your clothing brand they often say in marketing that it takes seven times for somebody to see your brand before they buy it so like I said, just plant those seeds, whether it's handing out business cards or wristbands, posting consistently on social media, a bunch of different things to market your brand. Don't be discouraged if you're marketing your brand and you're not getting a bunch of orders right away, right? It takes time to establish your brand, your brand image, your brand aesthetic, your brand credibility. So play the long game of marketing, be sure to plant those seeds. When you plant seeds, you have no choice but to reap a harvest. Last thing for this video when it comes to marketing your clothing brand for free is you. And this might be one of the most important ones, right? You. What do I mean by you? You as the brand owner are a walking billboard for your brand. When people think of your brand, they're thinking of you. When they see your brand, they see you. So if your brand is a designer brand that's what you want your brand to be you got high prices and you're walking around wearing raggedy shoes you don't got a cut you're not looking fresh you don't smell good you know I'm, I'm exaggerating i'm kind of clowning right now but you guys get the idea you have to be your brand's number one ambassador somebody i made a video on earlier on my channel ylsk his brand is like i was talking about is a designer brand and so he understands the power of brand association. He's in all of his videos wearing a Cartier watch and he got a Louis V bag in his hand with his hoodie on, right? And so people associate his brand with luxury, with designer, with high fashion. So when it comes to your brand, be the number one brand ambassador for your brand. Have a good image about yourself and create the image that you want people to know you and your brand for. So with that being said, those are some key tips, hacks, tricks, whatever you want to call it, for marketing your clothing brand. That's the end of another video. Appreciate every single one of y'all. Be sure to stay tuned for more content coming soon. If you're new, subscribe for more clothing brand content. I love y'all. Let's be great. I'm out of here. Let's go.